in this tutorial i am going to tell you how to publish an asp.net website at our local host server to publish the website i will create a new asp.net website using visual studio now i am opening the visual studio here it comes go to file then new website and select asp.net website then select the location of the folder where you want to save the asp.net project here i will save my project on my desktop and we go on service then my website now press ok under the solution explorer i will delete all the files and folders that have that have been automatically created when I choose ASP.NET set acceptor with welcome trip file. Select all the files and folders except the webcom.config file, then delete and press OK. Now I will add a new web page. So right click. and click on the add new item and choose web form here you can provide any name and it should be our web page name i will keep the file name as it is then press the add button default.aspx web page has been added to the project in this tutorial, I will publish a single page website that shows only test maxes. Here I am typing welcome to Gaipu on service and this is my first published website. To make to make the text more visible, I will make it more bigger and aligning the text at center. Then set the web form. Open the web.config file and change the login.fpx under the form login URL as default.aspx and save the file then choose the web.config now i will paste the website just press on the start debugging button it will show a message like this then press ok it is the website i have created this time i am running the website from the visual studio and it is not published yet To publish the website, go to build and select build website. A message box is showing as our program is debugging. So click on yes. Here is the message build succeeded. It is the time to publish the website. Go to again build and select publish website. Select the folder where you want to store the published website. I'm selecting desktop and Google service and typing my website. Press the open button and then yes to create a new folder and press OK. Publishing website is completed. So close the Visual Studio. We do not need the Visual Studio anymore. Add the web browser, and this time it gives the message "Service unavailable." Press Windows plus R to open the run dialog and tap I net MGR and press ok here is also a error message showing that windows cannot find inet mgr 
this means that the internet information services iis is not enabled yet and it should be enabled first before publishing the website on a local host to enable internet information services go to control panel select program select turn windows feature on or off from the list expand internet information services again spawn the ftp server and select bot again expand the web management tools and select all under web management tools expand the ii6 management compatibility and select all now expand world wide web services and under this expand the application deployment features and select all Select the Internet Information Services Hostable Web Core also. Expand the common HTTP features. And select all. Now selection is completed. And press OK. It will take about more than a minute to complete. I am planning to upload a complete tutorial on SB20 project making using a 3 tier architecture along with stock procedures and function on Microsoft SQL Server. So do not forget to subscribe my channel and Press the bell icon to get the latest update notification from my channel. Now it is completed. It shows the message. Windows completed the requested changes. Press the close button and also close the control panel. Now press Windows plus R to open the run dialog and type INET MGR and press OK. This time it opens the Internet Information Services IIS. Expand the connections and select the application pool. Local system is set in the identity column in my case. To change it, right click on it and select set application pool default and set let the local system from the identity list under process model. Then press OK. Expand the site and stop the default website. Then right click on the site and select Add Website. Provide any site name of your desire and choose the physical path. And it should be the folder I have stored my published website using. Visual Studio, then press on OK button, and here is a message box. Press on Yes, publishing website is completed. It is time to test the website. Right click on the website we have published and select Manage website and click on the box. It's loading, and here is the our website. Now you can close the Internet Information Services, and whenever you tap local host on the browser, it will show your published website until you stop the website from the Internet Information Services. Even if you uh, shut down your computer and later it turns on when you open the browser and tap the local host it will automatically show the website you have published here and this is the end of this tutorial please do not forget to subscribe my channel hope you like this video and thank you for watching